the best you scurvy dogs and are you ready for nerd alert and it's also international talk like a pirate day if you haven't figured that out yet uh, we have a special guest today who looks much better in a pirate tricorn than i do rana mcaneer we've interviewed you before um, during our WonderCon coverage rana is of course the face model for morinth and samara in the wonderful mass effect 2 which is probably the best game of the series not gonna brag uh, and also an actress and a costumer Yes, that yes. is correct. Thank you have quite the, and a model. <laughs> I am a saucy wench, too. <laughs> yes, and this yes, is Andrew, whose idea it was to wear these damn hats. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Oh, you're Thanks, welcome. Uh, right. Oh, Can we boy. start off uh, with a pirate joke? Yeah. How, how much do pirates pay to get their ears pierced? I don't know. A buccaneer. <laughs> I mean, that is a good value. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. They What's also a pirate's favorite letter? <laughs> Is it R? You'd think so, but it's actually the C. Okay. <laughs> I don't do well in these segments. Let's move to our first story. <laughs> Final Fantasy XV's trailer came out very recently at the Tokyo Game Show after years and years and years of waiting and hoping. But does it deliver? Let's see. <laughs> だけは変わんねえ。うわ。Final Fantasy 15, yeah! It'll be out for PS4 and Xbox One. We've been waiting a while back from when this was Final Fantasy 13 Versus. Uh, a lot of people have feelings about this trailer because it, it's incorporating new elements we hadn't previously seen before in Final Fantasy installments, at least not in depth. We have, of course, um, the first person shooter element which we saw in Dirge of Cerberus, which not everybody loved, including myself. Uh, and then we also have the driving element, and we have these four characters who seem to be on a, a road trip, a journey, if you will. It's an, it's an interesting juxtaposition of fantasy world, but some elements of the real world. I this would be a very no, interesting. Andrew. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm the only one who has abandoned the pirate motif. I've abandoned ship. Um, because I want to talk about this. So this is, it looks, the, the battle system looks a lot like Kingdom Hearts. It's not turn-based, as we might have uh, recognized in many, many, many other Final Fantasy games, but more in real-time battle. Uh, it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, which I think is fun, because I, I miss that battle system quite a bit. Um, I don't know if the party members are also programmable, like maybe, say, in Final Fantasy XII when you would set up uh, behaviors for them. But that is yet to be known. All we got to see were the, the health bars. So we've got a Cloud look-alike. Oh yeah, these four guys. So we have Cloud, <laughs> Cloud Strife, Elvis, <laughs> Zell from Final Fantasy VIII, and Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. And they're driving around in a car together. To find the dragon. The, That's its face! They said, it's a very large, it's a large the beast. The dialogue when they're driving around in the car is very mundane, given all the extraordinary things going on around them. Perhaps this is normal. Maybe it is. Perhaps it is. Well, I actually do have some insight on that, but it is very spoilery. So I'm going to give you five seconds. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. No complaining. Final Fantasy XIII, um, lightning, the, the, the way it ended with lightning story, thirteen three. Uh, it ended in the real world. Right? And this looks like a juxtaposition of the real world, but also this incredible uh, uh, world of like crystals. The, it's the Fabula, no, Fabula Nova Crystallis uh, series of games, which is six games with three titles, uh, including Final, this one, Final Fantasy XIII, and Final Fantasy Agito. Um, so it all exists in this world. I'm wondering if this is post uh, Lightning Story, or maybe during Lightning Story, which is why we see the crystal. It's interesting to think about. Okay, end of spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> so this game has been 
in development since 2006. Is that probably even before. correct? I've I've heard earlier numbers even. It's been in development. Why has for it taken long so long? Time. Well, I think it's been through many different iterations, and of course, Final Fantasy <laughs> 13. I think Square Enix expected it to be better received than it was. Um, a lot of people did not enjoy the the route that that game series took. My sister is probably the hugest fan I ever met of Final Fantasy XIII, which I don't understand at all, but even she was a little thrown off by XIII too and what direction it took. And, you know, I think what they had been trying to do was revitalize the series because Final Fantasy is, maybe not today, maybe doesn't enjoy that reputation right now, but it was it it was the go-to, the the flagship, the the must-have JRPG game, mm -hmm. and that that reputation has changed over a while. Um, will they get it back with Final Fantasy 15? I'm certainly hopeful. I think when a game does that, where they take so long to put out a new game, it sort of um, you know makes the fans chomp at the you know chomp at their bits, and they're they're like a little more excited about mm -hmm. it, or way more excited about it. The more that they kind of like give them throw a little you know here try a little of this, try a little of this, and then it like builds up the hype and hype. So I mean, it makes sense that they're trying to sort well, of revamp things. Yeah, and you know, games are well, they're under much more scrutiny now right. than they were maybe like during. The final days of Final Fantasy VII, which took a lot of it was the defining game for a lot of people. But now, you know, there is that pressure to deliver a better and better and better game right. in the series, even though they're not connected. Well, this one is connected to this world, but uh, I, you know, expectation. There's something to be said for that too. Um, are either of you fans of the older Final Fantasy series or games? In general, I'm more of a fan of shooters. Yes. And I'm I'm not really into RPGs. I know Final Fantasy is definitely kind of the ubiquitous mm -hmm. RPG out there. But um, this is something that maybe I would actually, this might actually get me into it, though, because it's got those FPS elements and the real time. Turn-based stuff doesn't really appeal oh. to me. So this oh. might be, like for people like me, a good point of entry to the series. You're right. I mean, it's not for everyone. It's for me. All of it is for me. <laughs> it was made just for you. <laughs> I haven't played them. Um, or I've seen or them. RPGs or in general. Yeah, I mean, you know, of course, it's full of Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what up? Yay. <laughs> I played that for sure. But um, that was kind of my first experience with an RPG. And um, that's something that I would definitely love to play more. Mm -hmm. And seeing, you know, just that clip of Final Fantasy, I just love, like, um, you know, of course, the how realistic it looks. It's a, a little eerie, but it it's really good. It's it's pretty amazing, <laughs> and you know that whole aspect of it just really, um, you know, interests me. Just because it's so visually gorgeous, mm -hmm. and you know their story along with the fighting and so all of that. So new new people to this uh, series or or. or this genre, even JRPGs, might be uh, grabbed with this uh, these these different elements, these newer elements, such as the car, uh, the the FPS elements, which is not exactly new, but it is a little different than most. And of course, the uh, the real time battle system, which is it's a lot closer to maybe what you would see in Mass Effect or games that you might be or more other people might be familiar with. So, is this a good move overall? I say hopeful. I don't know for sure yet, I and mean, I guess we'll know in a couple of years. What do you think of the Final Fantasy 15 trailer that was just released and does it make you uh, hopeful for the future of Final Fantasy or do, do you feel apprehensive which you are justified in feeling that way let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe